Rookies, Andy Loop here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and today we take a look at using Exceldro's Move Transition plugin, but actually use it to control filters, so you could make filters transition in on their own without having to do a full scene transition. Loads of cool effects that you could do with this, but I'm going to take you through what I'm using it for at the moment. So make sure you do like this video if it has helped you and you've learned something, and also subscribe. It, it, they've got tons of content coming out, and loads of tips and tricks to send your stream to the next level, so make sure you do that. Put your rock over the stone. Let's get on with it, guys, shall we? Let's go. Right, so just before we get in the nitty gritty of this, we need to make sure you've got the Move Transition plugin installed. You can check out my video about it just up here. I just want to keep this video as concise as possible. So once that's all installed, jump into OBS. I've done a bit of a blue Peter here on yours. I've, I've literally done... Geez. I've literally done a blue Peter on your ear. <laughs> Filming videos is difficult. Right, so I've done a blue Peter on your ear, and I've done, I've, I've pre-made some stuff already. I've got three sources just here. We're going to be basically doing this setup on one source, the media source just here, which is what you can see just there. So to get this set up, we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to add a filter. You probably see in my version of OBS, I do actually have something like this already set up with show and hide transitions. I'm going to go through how I set that up. That's going to basically do what we're looking for right here. So when I show it, it fades in just like that. But we, I'm going to save that for another day, okay? So if you want to see that video, make sure you are subscribed. So we're going to right-click and go to Filters. And this is the way that anybody can do it. We're just going to add a filter on the Effect Filters. And we're going to go to Color Correction. Just press OK and add that. And as you can see, Opacity is what we're going to be using to, to fade something in and out. We're basically going to emulate that slider going across on its own so to do that we press the plus sign and you'll see if you install the move transition plugin you'll have move source move value and move transition override we're gonna be using move value not many people use this and it is so so powerful so I'm gonna call this media on to say that we're turning the media on uh, the filter that we want to take control of is the color correction and the setting is the opacity just there. So the value that we want, we can have a little look at the color correction. So for it to be on, we want it to be 100. So I'm going to leave the value at 100. Put the duration here. So I want it to be 2000. So that's two seconds. You can change the ease in. You can do start delays, end delays. Completely up to you. Just tinker with them to get your desired effect. We're going to use the start trigger, enable and disable. Read through all them to, to find the one that works best for you. But when, when using stuff like a stream deck, which I'll show you in a second, and Leoran board and, and touch portal, things that interact with filters, it's probably better to put it on enable and disable. So I'm just going to put that on there. And you see nothing happens when I click this button now. So we need to create another one, the move value, this time for turning it off. So I'm going to put media off. Press OK. And we're going to go to filter, the color correction, and opacity as the setting. But this time, change the value to zero. Do the duration. I'm going to do it as the same, just to, to keep with the theme. Uh, leave everything else the same. Again, you need to fiddle about with that to get your desired effect. I'm going to put enable and disable for start trigger. And you'll see when I press that button now, we'll fade out. Press media on. We fade in. And that is it. You have created your own source transition on one scene without having to create multiple scenes. So you'll see things like Harris Heller, um, where they get the webcam to fade in separately, and they have like an intermediate scene, and it gets a little bit complicated. You don't need any of that. You can do this all separately, which is incredible. So just as you see in there. So we need to add this to a stream deck. So a little shout out uh, to Elgato or anybody watching that can hook us up. I don't actually have a stream deck at the minute, so I can't do many stream deck videos. So I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this working. So if you can hook me up, you know where I am. I'd be doing tons more stream deck videos. So drop me, drop me a message. So we're going to be using the OBS Tools uh, plugin by Bar Raider. If it's not there, you press more actions and you'll be able to search for it in here. So if I type in OBS, uh, you'll see OBS Tools. And we just want to install that one just there. And it'll pop up on the right hand side. So inside OBS Tools, we're going to use the filter toggle just there. Drag that in and give it a name. So I'll call it Media uh, On. 
You can see it's a little bit too large the text, but you can change that all in there. Personal preference, the source name is media source. So we need to make sure this is all typed in exactly the same. And also the filter name, which is media on. Media on. Everything has to be typefaced exactly the same. The format, the, the spaces, the capitalization, everything. And the way that this works, this plugin, is connecting to OBS WebSocket. So if you've not got OBS WebSocket installed, it won't work. Make sure you do get that installed. It's a free plugin. Link in the description below. And now once you press that, that will automatically turn that on. And you need to repeat that for any other sources that you use. So if I was to have a Stream Deck and I press media on, it literally just go media on. Just like so. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with Leoran board, just to kind of cover all bases. I'm going to jump into Leoran board here. I've created a new deck already, and you can see I've already got a couple of different ones that I've already created earlier. Again, getting all blue Peter on you. I'm just going to create a blank button, and I'm going to call this media on. You could consolidate these all into one button as well if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to show you the easy way without having to do any programming or anything like that. We're going to add a command, press the plus, go down to filter, change visibility, the source name. The good thing about the Orange board is it pulls all the information for you, so you don't have to do any typing, which I love. So we want media source, and we want media on, and we want it to be true because we, we want that to turn on. Hit done. I'm going to create one more for media off. Again, if you, if you know how to do it, you can consolidate these into one button easily. But I'm just showing this for, for, for the beginners out there. Hit the plus, and we're going to go straight back down to it. Source visibility, go to media source, and then straight into media off. Hit true. Hit done. Hit done. So it saves it. And I'm going to pull up now. My stream deck just hit media off. And you'll see, I disappear. I've got browser on, turn my browser source on, image on. So this is all happening under one scene. So as you can see, everything's kind of popping now. I can turn stuff on and off and it fades in and out. You can combine this with different filters as well. That's something that I would bear in mind. This can be as creative as you want it to be. There's so many cool things that you could do with it. So definitely try it. And why not even share some of the things that you get up to? Let me know in the comments below if there's something that you want answering or something like that. Or you want to just share something. Or come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash AndyLP and ask me questions live. Okay, guys? Hopefully you've learned something something and if you have make sure you hit that like button also subscribe because i've got tons of content coming your way on how to make your stream beautiful and just like a cut above the rest do you know what i mean put your rock over the stone guys let's go